Cool. That'll move us on into Sleeper Spotlight. Ooh, Sleeper ooh, Spotlight. Wake up, everybody. Not In this segment, sleeping. we introduce a drummer that y'all are sleeping on. All right? And then we'll get Adam's opinions, impressions, and constructive criticism, if any. Okay. Hopefully not. Some killer drummers this week. All right. First it's hard up, to do criticism when they shred this hard. <laughs> well, I, I, I feel like I mean, what were I supposed to say? Yeah, You're awesome. Yeah. Like, if, half if, of them. if we forced you to pick out something negative for each of these drummers, sure, I mean, you, sure. you could trash yeah, could talk <laughs> all day and just ruin their day. You're but. talking about their clothes and shit. <laughs> But drumming-wise... <laughs> the carpet in this room is horrible. <laughs> they shred. <laughs> uh, all right, cool. So first up is Rob Avsharian. I'm butchering that. Okay, it'll be on the screen. Yep, Jetpack <laughs> Boy on Instagram. Only 900 followers. Okay. What's up, Rob? What you got? What's up, Rob? Clip number one. Lucy goosey with those wrists. That kid sounds so good. Man, those toms are absolutely dialed. Everything sounds killer. Surprisingly good mix, man. Um, and it's it's also so weird. He holds the sticks so low. I never understand how people do that. Isn't that weird? Like that. It's I a, do that, yeah. You hold you hold that far back? I have enough. Uh, my fingers are long. And that like, has something to do with it. The, the lanky the big, fingers. Big hands. It, it's still, I mean, you've got enough control up at the top of your first three fingers. So yeah. You don't really need that much when your hands are that big. Yeah, and there's a lot of high-level pro drummers that do that. So it's yeah. certainly not like a like a good or a bad thing. It's just interesting to me because it's so uncomfortable. I also have very tiny hands. I have weirdly small hands. Mm -hmm. um, so maybe that has something to do with yeah, you're right. Like maybe the the length of finger has yeah, to do with like your the, ability to do that. Just the length of, I mean, the overall length of your arm and your fingers and your hands. I'm reaching into the camera, here. <laughs> but it, it it for some reason you don't want to move the, your arms so much because there's a lot of energy being spent moving this much mass. Sure. This far, you want to keep your elbows in. So. Oh, so you keep the reach by holding back a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. And it's such a minuscule difference in the fulcrum that maybe it's just something you could get used to. Like if you decided yes. to hold further back, mm -hmm. you would just you know acclimate to that. But he holds particularly far back on the stick. Yeah. But man, some of his um. The, the smoothness of those like Swiss Army triplets or the, the flam work off the ride. I don't know if you went full bludgeda, but like in that that realm, man, very, very smooth. And um, the, the kit just sounds so good. I love this kit sound. Really like warm, but not not muddy warm. Like a lot of clarity for being that, that, that much low end. That was mm -hmm. awesome. So that was from Rob. And let's do one more from him. Yeah. All right. Ooh, a little artsy video here. Interesting clip for sure. His left hand was busy. Fun watching that left hand. He yeah. got a lot of busy, busy, man. It's fun watching his technique too, right? There's a lot. You could see a lot of like 
twisting, turning, pushing, pulling, like a very, very uh, dialed in left hand. Cool style, too. It was like kind of drum and bass, but not all the way. There was some other, I don't know, elements of jazz and sort of like comping in a way that, well, I guess you do a lot of comping in, in drum and bass, but um, I'm not super familiar with that style, but I thought that was really interesting playing choices for sure. And again, the audio, that's the most impressive thing yeah. for me. It, it's also weird, the contrast when it sounds so good, but like it doesn't, not a knock on him, but like it doesn't look that great. He's got filters on it. It's a weird like artistic kind of thing, but the audio is like album worthy, crisp, like yeah. really, really clean audio. Dude, awesome playing for sure. We know anything about Rob? Like what does he do? Uh, no, I mean, just plays drums and just playing drums has on a Instagram. good time. Yeah, goodness, only, only has about nine hundred followers. Man, so let's get him up to ten k. Ten k by tomorrow. Forty thousand by nine eight. No, That'd be sick. Yeah, Dude, why you not? Just gained that in a day. Yeah. Oh my god. But man, I, this is why I love this segment. Like, how in the world do people not know? Like, he's an excellent drummer. Of like, course. very, very good, man. Mm-hmm. That was awesome. Cool. Well, yeah, go follow Rob, man. Um, Instagram's on the screen. Check him out. Sick player, dude. Absolutely yeah. sick. Jetpack boy. Moving on to a toy drummer, a Andrew Toy. toy drum. <laughs> Andrew with Toy. 1,400 followers. Okay. Let's check him out. All right. First one from Andrew. That gushy ride. Man, how gushy is that ride? That's a good sounding ride, man. Also, what I'm most impressed with is like how you can play something that musical with four snare drums. I feel like if I sat down at this kit, like any kit with four snare drums and like play something using all of them that actually sounds good. Like, I don't know. I'm used to one. I just used the one. <laughs> so, that was really impressive for sure. Um, also tricky to have all of the backbeats with the right hand in the floor tom position. I feel like that is a mannerism I'd have to work out like there on two and four, like to the right and low, like interesting. So I feel like he's definitely put in some time into this setup, but I thought that was really musical and a pretty impressive use of four snare drums. I don't think I could sit down and just make up something that musical with that setup. So I feel like he's invested some time here and um, really impressive, man. It sounded, sounded absolutely killer. Good audio again, too. Good yeah, audio yeah. guys today. Killing it, killing it. That was sick. Yeah, got one more from Andrew. Okay, second one from Andrew. Interesting. So like such a, I mean, it's a weird combination of like, we like to put drummers in categories sometimes, right? So you got like your groove drummers and then your choppy drummers. And then there's like these kind of guys, which are a little bit of a hybrid like that. It's a groove. That's what he played in both clips, right? Like a full groove, but it's got a busyness to it. There's a lot, there's like a storyline within the groove and he uses moments of the groove to kind of hop in and out. And that's would be his version, at least in the context of these clips, that's like his version of what the fill would be or the chop would be. It's like built into the story of the groove. And to me, that's a really cool hybrid way to approach drumming, right? Like to sit down and that's what comes out. You know, for me, that's so different than when I sit down at the drum set and what comes out. It's not that. It's not like a like a storied, textured groove where the fill and groove sort of is like malleable between the two. That's not really like what I would ever sit down and play. So it's really interesting to me to see someone whose expression is exactly that. Um, and again, the creativity with the four snare setup is impressive because I couldn't sit down and, and do much with this kit and it, it sure wouldn't sound that good. Um, so that was awesome, man. Uh, very go check out Brother Andrew. That was really cool, man. Yeah. It's a good Instagram follow, guys like this. Little mini stories in your, in your feed. Exactly, you know? yeah. The four snares is what got me with this guy. Thanks for watching this clip from the Orlando Drummer Podcast. I hope you enjoyed it. If you are in any way looking to make yourself a better drummer online, 
which you probably are, it's why you click this video. Make sure to click this link up here, wherever it is, orlandodrummer.com. It's an online drum school in the style of Netflix. Trust me, you will find something you like, but don't take my word for it. Seven day free trial at the link in the description. Make sure to sign up for that. See if you like it. We'd love to have you on board. Thanks guys.